It has always been argued who is the greatest bucking horse of all time. In 1942, a San Francisco manufacturer who caters to the rodeo cowboy trade tried to answer the question. He sent out a questionnaire to every cowboy in the United States and Canada in an effort to determine the greatest bucking horse of all time. Thousands of replies were received. The competition for top honors was keen. When the ballots were tabulated and the arguments were waxing fiercer than ever because of the renewed interest aroused by the poll, the standings were announced. First was Hell's Angel, owner Everett Colborn, Dublin, Texas. The Big Bay Horse branded NIT on the left thigh was seven years old in 1933 when the Montana farmer who raised him sold the horse to Wyoming stock contractor Buck Yarber. He was bucked for the first time in Jackson, Wyoming. The first unsuccessful rider was Tom Shipman. After five unsuccessful attempts, Stub Bartlemy was the first to make a qualified ride at Dillon, Montana in 1933. Mike Hastings saw the horse named Hell's Angel Buck and purchased him at that very day. Hastings stated, The first time I bucked him was in the finals at Butte, Montana, where he bucked off Eddie Curtis the first time out. Then I shipped the Angel to Indianapolis, where I bucked him three times. Three bronc riders failed to make the whistle. Then I shipped him to the World's Championship Rodeo in New York, where I bucked him 11 times, and 11 more riders failed to make the whistle. Then on to Boston, where I bucked him five times, five more riders hit the dust. After the Boston show, I sold him to my friend, Colonel W.T. Johnson. He was owned by the Colonel from 1933 to 1937, when he was sold to the World's Championship Rodeo Corporation. In the fall of 1937, at the Madison Square Garden Rodeo, Hell's Angel went through 19 days being challenged by some of the best bronc riders in the world, and he was successful at throwing all but Paul Carney. Mike Hastings stated that Hell's Angel was only ridden 20 times during the 10 seasons he bucked, and gave credit to Fritz Truen on his success at riding Hell's Angel five times out of seven matches. Hell's Angel never weakened, but departed this life without ever becoming a has-been or an ordinary bucker. Hell's Angel is buried at Popular Buff, Missouri. The information for this presentation was taken from an article printed in the February 1943 Hoof and Horns. The story as told by Mike Hastings to Foghorn Clancy, owner and editor of the magazine.